a loaded subject. Marriage is framed as the most desirable thing for little girls. <laughs> Look forward to getting married. Plan your perfect wedding. But think about how it's framed for guys. The worst thing ever. <laughs> Never get married, boys. Watch out for that old ball and chain. <laughs> so we see the conflict here, right? We are being fed different expectations from youth. And marriage always seemed to be the end of the story. They got married and they lived happily ever after. The end. <laughs> yeah, that seems suspicious. What are you hiding? <laughs> and we are hiding. We are hiding a lot of information on purpose. Remember, marriage for love is relatively new still. Shedding roles is new. Things were different for men and women in the past. Think, men could be presidents and kings and women that stowed at home. Hidden away from the world. Men could go off, travel the world, take their duties to war, and leave everything behind to the women back home. And of course, it was reinforced that while the men were away, they could be up to anything, especially other women. So as I began to grow, my perspective <laughs> changed. Where I once saw women as these magical sorceresses and benevolent teachers, kindly queens, I now saw the darker side of womanhood. Women scorned, women abandoned, angry women who had to fend for themselves. Mothers juggling too many lives. <sighs> what they were all willing to do in despair. Medea murders her children in the ultimate act of revenge. Henry VIII murders his wives. So yes, marriage terrified me. Everything I learned about it revealed it was a trap. It enslaved women and turned their life into service, served the children, served the husband. The world didn't trust women. They feared them. An empowered woman was seen as a witch, a threat, something to eradicate. The safest place for the pure women was the home, where she was out of sight. Women have been owned and treated. Women have been less valuable than things. And honestly, this is what marriage was for women throughout the millennia. It was a contract in a time of violence, war, and using women as property. Those men couldn't see women for what they were, divine goddesses, let alone as human. And somehow it gets worse, like the puritanical mindset that women shouldn't enjoy sex. They should endure it. I, it's just, Terrible to know that this is what people went through. This is what people had to endure. <sighs> the worst part is that there are still people who think this way to this day. And it somehow gets worse because those people want to keep it that way. 